Today, we're going to be talking about what it means to dream big. I notice with a lot of my clients that they have a resistance to dreaming big, to using their imagination. I think in society, we are so ruled by our left brain, and that's the type of thinking that gets us ahead in work or what society thinks that we should do, that we don't tap enough into our right brain, into our imagination, into what we really want. And so that's where this importance of dreaming big comes in. Now, what I hear from a lot of people is, Duh, that's great, but I don't know I don't know how to dream big. So let me give you an exercise. Think for a second about something you really want in your life. It could be something material, it could be a relationship, it could be a goal. And take a moment and, and write that down. So if I were to do the exercise myself, something I would really want, it would be to be on an island in the Caribbean, um, in the white sands, in the blue waters. That would be pretty amazing. Now if I'm gonna turn that goal up by 25% or that dream up by 25%, to me that would probably look like being invited to Richard Branson's Necker Island and to one of his entrepreneurial retreats. That would be pretty amazing. All right, now let's see, I'm gonna turn it up by 25% more. What would that be? I guess that would be me having my own private island, somewhere that I lived and I invited entrepreneurs to come visit me in that island. That feels pretty amazing. I could do my work from a hammock, uh, everybody would come to visit me, and that would be my life. So that's an example of dreaming big. And what's important about it is, is that if you, if you set your goals to be really achievable and within this box, and of course some of your goals should be, but you should always have at least one goal that knocks it out of the water, right? Um, because if you have limiting thoughts, you're gonna see limiting results. If you have big dreams and big goals, you're going to put a lot of effort into it and you're, that's the results you're going to get back. So I encourage all of you to dream big, think big, use your imagination, and I can't wait to hear about it.